go to our website. We're going to talk about men and their cars now. What does your man drive? A sedan, a muscle car, a luxury vehicle? Well, what does your man's car say about his personality? And here to give us some insight is dating and life coach Deanna Lorraine. With She worked with LeaseTrader.com to come up with these car traits, I guess you yes. say. So how did you guys come up with this idea? Well, LeaseTrader.com, they had me profile the five most popular leased vehicles for men right now. Okay. You know, so they said, what uh, kind of personality traits do they convey? Okay, and so that's let's how we came up with them. Let, we have pictures actually of these uh, top five cars. Let's talk about the first one, which is the Toyota Camry. Okay. What is that car? If a man drives a Toyota Camry, what's uh -huh. his personality like? Strong, uh, reliable, and committed. Just sort of, <laughs> just like the car itself. You know, it's never going to wear out on you. <laughs> and the man who drives it seems to be very loyal and, um, you huh. know, hardworking man. And what about the women? Uh, what type of women? Um, are attracted to these type of men? Type of women who uh, appreciate that type of man, who appreciate the nice guy who is probably a uh, wife or girlfriend material. Okay. Someone who's uncomplicated and very sweet. That's good. That's good. The next one is the truck. Okay. Uh, the Ford F-150, one of the most popular leased cars. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of man drives truck? Type of, well, there's two sides of the coin here. One is uh, he could be very macho and masculine and strong, you know, kind of a tough guy. On the flip side, some woman might think that he might be a little insecure or overcompensating for something by getting this big truck. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also the SUV, which is a different kind of truck. Does that have right. a different kind of man trait? Yeah, the SUV is the type of guy who's sort of a family man and who it, he likes outdoors, you know, um, adventures and travel. So he's the type of guy who does value friendships and families. And so the girl who'd be attracted to that type of guy seems to be a kind of fun-loving girl, rough-and-tumble type of girl, you know, someone who also values that type of, um, um, you know, friends and family. Uh -huh. And then we have the Mercedes S-Class, okay. the luxury vehicle. Oh, the luxury vehicle. What does this say about a man who drives this car? Typically an older man, um, someone who is very successful, stylish and classy, um, maybe reached a couple bench or um, you know milestones in their career. It is sort of a benchmark of success in a woman's eyes. Uh -huh. And then of course there's the sports car, the Corvette. <laughs> I always think when I when I think of a man in a Corvette, I think it's like the midlife crisis stage. Is that true? Kind or? of, yeah, oh. <laughs> a little bit. Someone who drives it um, is very showy, flamboyant, kind of a risk taker, um, a thrill seeker per se. Uh -huh. And a lot of women tend to think they are, um, you know, dangerous and sexy, but maybe a little narcissistic because they're using this uh, flamboyant car as maybe a way to get an attention fix or, you know, uh. ego boost they might need on the road. So what type of women would um, date a man in a Corvette or marry a man in a Corvette? Probably someone who's a, you know, kind of wild and impulsive type of girl, someone who, who likes those kind of guys who mm -hmm. are out there and kind of getting that kind of attention. Okay, bonus car, because I see them all over the place, those Hummers. <laughs> The Hummer. Is that, is that the SUV cag category or is it something else? That's a little bit else. You know, that's someone who's definitely um, maybe a little frivolous, especially with staggering gas prices. <laughs> someone who could be maybe, um, you know, uh, self-indulgent. Yes, that's true. That's true. Now, what about you? What kind of car would you want your man to drive? I'm, I'd say I'm more attracted to the Mercedes BMW type of guy. Just kind of my style for yeah. some reason. Okay, somebody just put up a question. I don't know if you can come up with uh -huh. one uh, for the man who drives motorcycles, who rides oh. motorcycles. You know, probably someone who's a little showy and he's a wild, dangerous type of guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's my guess. So how did you, now you are in a relationship and a life coach. Yes, yes. So let's just talk, I've got to throw a question out there about relationships. What, okay. what would be your one suggestion in keeping... Um, a relationship uh, in the fast lane, hot and steamy, okay. lifelong relationship, making it last? Definitely. Well, there's so many things that could um, could happen to make your relationship turn routine or, you know, stressful. So I always advise you to keep it fresh, keep it spicy, keep it spontaneous, you know, um, send those flowers on a random day or, or keep date night. Um, definitely keep it surprising, you know, and fresh. Uh -huh. And so when Lease Trader approached you, what, what do mm -hmm. they do, by the way? They're, they're a matchmaking agency, basically, for... Um, assuming someone else's lease or getting rid of your lease so okay. you don't have to pay those penalties and fines and everything to get out of your lease if you want to so they matched up with you to come up with these yeah these definitely vehicles. that's very fun Deanna thank you so much if thank you want you. more information on Deanna she's a life coach and a dating coach yes. out of San Diego or leasetrader.com you can just go to our website thanks so much Deanna sure